more! Hi, I'm Wes. I'm Jen. I'm Taylor. I'm Philip. And, and this, this is... <gasps> Yay! Aww. So today is a great episode for me. <laughs> We're doing hand lettering. It's very popular on Instagram. You might have seen um, uh, little inspirational quotes. You What's know? the difference between hand lettering, typography, calligraphy? Can we just say we're writing with fancy pens? We're writing with fancy pens today. <laughs> Let us know what the difference is. <laughs> Christine is also actually doing her own lettering episode where she's going to be teaching you how to make pretty shiny ones, like foiling lettering. We, we should go one step at a time and just like letter yeah. first. Yeah. Go back to the yeah. basics. And I'm like, man. Did I do that? Yeah, I mean, we have we have good quotes. Yeah, and I know how to write words. I took cursive. You draw. I it's like draw. just drawing. Let's do it. There's so many styles. So what, which one are you gonna choose? There's so, so many great styles. I uh, was looking through a bunch of different images of hand lettering, and I found this fun one that's uh, it's it's actually like in a bus, and it has a little quote that's related to the bus. And I have a quote that I chose. And I'm gonna try to do kind is of something it, similar. Is it the wheels on the bus go round and round? That's not. It's not bus. It's a different type of vehicle. I think I want to try different different ones, like copying, uh -huh. just to see if I can even do it. Today's style, I'm gonna mimic myself, <laughs> but I do like the kind of like loopier look mm. and okay. like kind of like soft, whimsical. Very uh, free form. Yeah. Um, what would you call this style? I'm gonna. Uh, I mean, it's kind of like the same thing. Like I could see us using these pens to mimic okay. that. I would say this is. A little more angular, mm. a little, uh, a little grungier. We do a little practicing. So you're gonna do just one kind? Is that what you're just gonna try to do? That I'm gonna try to do this, this cool, like very liney, angly one first. First, doesn't matter how you hold it. Like, I mean, angle -wise. I don't think so. I can use it at, at an angle, okay. so you can use like the potential of the brush. The potential of the brush. <laughs> Bam. Dude, oh, wait, that's nice. Right, I can draw straight lines. Oh, the faster you do, is it better? So downstrokes, pressure. Upstrokes, less pressure. Oh. For like lines and circles, like the more you think about it, I actually feel like you start to like quiver. Oh shoot. Dude, these pens make everything look good. Ooh, dude, they have like gradients in this one, so I'm not gonna be able to do that. <laughs> this is so wrong. This is so <laughs> bad. <laughs> You just um, pr practice that kind of like. What if I don't follow that? Okay, I'm gonna write it just like this, but with this pen. I gotta just work on doing like a straight line. Hey, you're saying that a pen's easier? Yes. You know what I think is amazing about these people is that I think they see it before they even start. So it becomes just one stroke. Like, but you know what? I'm gonna do what I just said. I'm not gonna think. Don't think. Watch, watch this. Ready? You're probably used to that. <laughs> oh. Just write stuff while you're doing stuff. Uh, Dude, really actually, look, does, does it look better? <laughs> Was not thinking? A little bit. Uh, yeah, it's pretty good. You didn't dot your eye. You missed the dot. Well, I was going back to it. Do you feel like you're qualified? Uh, I'm gonna final? just start and then... This is the nice paper. Oh, is that different? Yeah. All right, I'm not ready for that yet. Okay. Whoa, hey! <laughs> See, the thing is, I think you're kind of cheating right now. Why? Because you're like drawing it out. Like the real good people, it's like they use different thickness pens. Yeah. So you, they're just writing it. Are you gonna go? If you're gonna go final, I'm gonna go final. Yep. Okay, so I think I practiced a good amount. I learned how to use the pen a little bit. Mm -hmm. Put ink in it. If you need ink, that would help. Now we're ready to make our own little uh, handwritten inspirational quote. Right, that we're gonna get tons of likes. This is official, guys. This is the beginning of our uh, typography accounts. This might take a few tries okay. too. This is nice for paper. Yeah. I'm gonna choose a very nice quote from one of my favorite singers that I think would be very good on uh, Instagram. I'm gonna choose a, a line from a Taylor Swift song. Of course. I still have a great idea. Mm -hmm. My quote is gonna be, um, there are big ships, there are small ships, but the best ships are friendships. <laughs> I think it's gonna be in a ship. I think it's gonna look great. It's gonna end up on shirts. It's um, you can't make everyone happy. You are not pizza. What about Taylor? He doesn't eat pizza. Mine was gonna be move your mind. Ooh, is there a reasoning to that? It speaks to anyone that wants to be creative or that has an idea. It's like enough to like, just do it. Cool, snaps. Yeah. So the quote I'm using is from one of my favorite uh, Taylor Swift songs called Sparks Fly. All right, what kind of style are you gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do it in the because oh. I think I'm I think I did this pretty well. It's like swirly. a lot of a lot of swirlies. Or should I do it in the in this one because it's like sparks? It does like have like a little right? firework feel to it. Maybe I should do that. I'm gonna use a 
pencil to kind of sketch it out. Wait, no, you can't do that. It's a ship. I have to draw a ship. Well, you look down on me no, if I, I mean, use I'm... pencil first. No. Well, that's then. what I do. Oh, well, this is easy. No problem. Yeah. It's funny, I like, I think I invisibly write it first. I was saying like, I write it before I actually write it with pencil. Like, oh, in my, oh, in, in your mind. mind. <laughs> I think like the muscle memory helps. Yeah. I'm just gonna do, cause I see sparks fly. I think that's all I can really handle, to be honest. What do boats look like? Oh, this is so bad. This is harder than I thought, all right. <laughs> that looks bad. I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> it's pencil, you can erase. Whoa, this is like a, Actual brush. Dude, that looks kind of cool. No, it doesn't. What do you mean? That doesn't look that cool. It looks like Lance. <laughs> I just misspelled cuss. I forgot the U. Case, That's the hardest part. Spelling. Case I see sparks fly. Can I do that? That's okay. I'm okay with that. So that I know roughly this is the size of the letters and where they're going to go. All right. Let's try. I'm <laughs> nervous. Boom. Okay. Got my outline. Your first go, that was good. But you're experienced. No, I'm not. Oh, I don't oh know shoot. What I'm doing. Uh... You got bubbles. Cause, cause. That doesn't. I can't read these things, dude. <laughs> Maybe you chose the wrong style. Look, I, I did the thing like where it goes all the way across. Oh, I like I... that. You're like making a little border with the letter. Right. Yeah, that's cute. This is gonna be great. I think, dude. Cause I see sparks. <laughs> That, I think you should start over. <laughs> I think you should get a new piece of paper. Cause that's fine. The frame. You're gonna like you put that on the walls in some of the girls' room. They're gonna think she's an exorcist. <laughs> and, like, or, all right. I think I should be like, oh my god, she's haunted. Conjuring three. Hey, that looks cool. Wow. Do you have enough room for your yours? Probably not. Really, that looks cool though. It looks like, I um, that. it looks really Asian. I mean... <laughs> seas are already curly, how do you add curls to seas? Do you even know, like, the anatomy of a ship? There's two sails! Yeah, basic ships, you want to make a basic-ass typography. People overuse the word basic these days, it's like... True. I'm doing the base level, yes, I'm not making a pilgrimage. <laughs> Just try to go on the lake, bro. So clean, oh my god. Wow. You're gonna be done by the time I... All right, I'm gonna move on to the next. <laughs> so that's not your final one? I don't think so. Complete color. Ooh, I'm not, I'm not so much into the Oh, color. true. <laughs> yeah, here's the thing. Guys, don't try to be something you're not. <laughs> you're giving up. No, I'm not. <laughs> These artists spend years crafting their style, learning their style. So you know what? I'm just gonna write the way that Philip Wang writes. Let me practice the way I write first. <laughs> Those are so tiny. It has to be, right? No? It's gonna be like, make move mine. Your, your. Wait, I mean, how else am I, am I gonna fit it? What does a pizza look like? Okay, crust. <laughs> crust. <laughs> You're so dumb. This is hard, man. It's gonna look so dumb. Done! A Philip Wang original. That looks like from your notebook. Don't try so hard. I, I'm taking this seriously. Some Somewhere out there, someone's gonna see this and be like, oh my gosh, I wanna write it the way that he wrote it. All right, this could be a final if it were better. How can I embellish this a little bit more? What if I like, oh, how about in the C, like I, I put two like pupils in there. So it's like oh, eyeballs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, maybe put some sparks in there too. Done. That's <laughs> <laughs> so tiny. It's, it's beautiful. <laughs> it looks like a first grader. <laughs> you can turn that in for a few stars. Sparks. You're gonna cross it all out. Your life is circles. That looks cool. Done. <laughs> you, you drew that so fast. Well, all fun. I heard was. <laughs> <laughs> After how many times of practicing, oh right? I'm almost done, Phil. And I'll show you how it's done, baby. Don't call me baby. Okay. You chose such a long quote. <laughs> I know, because it's a great quote. I live by it. Oh, dude, isn't that creative? <laughs> it has eyebrows. Did you say that? <laughs> did you put eyebrows on it? <laughs> yeah, that, that way you make sure you know people know it's a, their eyes. Look at that. Wait, you know what? I, I, I wouldn't say it's a ship. 
I think it's like a an upside down triangle. <laughs> no, they're like, yeah, three um, triangles. I did two, by the way. All right. So my two versus his one. But I had longer quote. You did. And um, you get you get credit for um, writing more, I guess. You but get, you also stole some of the style. No, I kind of. This is this is a Philip Wang original. You stole someone's words. Wow. Ta -da! That looks pretty good. That looks pretty good too. Thanks. Um, you made the pizza bigger. A little bit. And who can ever deny that's a bad thing, right? Every pizza is a personal pizza. You I did, try hard enough. <laughs> I did the opposite. I made everything smaller and I added a circle because circles are nice. I feel like when you make things smaller and there's more space, it just looks automatically artistic. Agreed. Mm -hmm. It's a little mm -hmm. trick for you guys. So what do you think of their first time hand lettering? Huh? Uh -huh. Huh? Would you say they nailed it? Yeah. Oh. Click here. Yours looks like a nail tailor, so obviously. <laughs> <laughs> what they say they failed it. Mm -hmm. I, I, mean, I think it's pretty clear. No. Yeah. I think collectively, we, well, we have a pro, and then Taylor's is like... We have very unique styles, all of us. That's true. Yeah. Reflection of our personalities. Thanks for watching this episode. Be sure to try hand lettering yourself. You might actually like really enjoy it like we did. I think we discovered a new hobby. Yeah. Um, and uh, just letting you guys know that this is actually the second to last episode of this first season of Failed It. Don't worry, there's still one more episode left. Yeah. And then we're actually planning a brand new show for you guys. Ooh. So in the meantime, keep watching, subscribe, and we'll have new episodes coming every Tuesday. See ya. Bye. Bye.